It's about time you learn everything you need to know about the Minecraft Trial Chambers. From finding the chambers, to new mobs, to new blocks, and even in my opinion, one of the best Minecraft features to be added in years. This new chamber is essentially your standard Minecraft dungeon, just on steroids. The trial chambers are underground structures that serve as a mid-game combat challenge. As you can see, it mostly consists of copper blocks and tough bricks, and is the only place where trial spawners and vaults naturally generate. Trial chambers are also the only place where breeze spawn, whose breeze rods can be used to craft wind chargers. Various metals such as heavy cores and certain armor trims are obtained exclusively by unlocking vaults in trial chambers, as well as Minecraft's new strongest weapon. There's also a certain event called the Ominous Trial which occurs here, but don't worry if all these new Minecraft features have just gone straight over your head, because I'll be covering everything in more detail later on. So where can you find the trial chambers? Well, they actually generate underground in the overworld. The starting room generates at an altitude of between Y minus 40 and minus 20, but the structure is not restricted to those Y levels. In fact, the majority of the structure's rooms tend to generate between Y minus 20 and zero. The generation of trial chambers follows a grid of 32 by 32 chunk regions, centered on the world origin, which is 00. zero. As we all know, a chunk is 16 by 16 blocks. Times that by 32 and you'll have an area of 512 blocks by 512 blocks. To put this simply, if you're standing at 00, zero then somewhere within the 512 blocks, is the trial chambers, and there's only one trial chamber structure generated in each one of these regions at a random location. But it would be too difficult to manually search through the whole region for one of these chambers. Therefore, trial chambers can be located using trial chamber maps, which are sold by journeyman level cartographer villagers for 12 emeralds and one compass. So step one, find yourself a village. Find a cartographer villager, increase the trades till you're on a journeyman, which is its third level, and collect your map. This map is essentially an explorer map and works the same way as when you look for buried treasure or a woodland mansion or an ocean monument for example. Alternatively, if you head over to a chunk finder like chunk base for example, which I'll throw in the description by the way, you can literally type in your seed and get the exact coordinates to your closest trial chamber. Like I mentioned in my Minecraft guide, one of the best ways to get down here is by digging down using the 2 by one method or simply staircase down. When you arrive at the trial chambers, you're going to find corridors as well as larger rooms, and within these, you'll find trial spawners. Trial spawners are the new type of spawner which can be only found in the chambers and spawn mobs in waves. The number of mobs that spawn changes depending on if you're fighting solo or if you have friends around. When you eventually cycle through all the waves of mobs and defeat them, you will be rewarded with some loot. There's various different types of loot you will get from these spawners upon completing, which I'll go into more detail later on, but for now our main focus is the new trial key, which I'll talk about in the next section. If you don't manage to get a trial key, you can either venture to find a different trial spawner and complete it, or you can wait, as when you complete a trial spawner, they become inactive for 30 minutes, and then after this, begin spawning again. Now, these trial spawners come in four different categories, with a total of 11 different mobs, including two of the new mobs and these can usually be distinguished by the surrounding blocks in the room. Category 1 is melee, where you'll either get zombies, husks or slimes. Category 2 is small melee, where you'll either get silverfish, baby zombies, spiders or cave spiders. Category 3 is ranged, where you'll either get strays, skeletons or the relatively new bogged mob. The bug mob is a skeleton variant that has the ability to poison players for 4 seconds with their poison tip arrows. Category 4 is Breeze, which has its own category. The Breeze is of course another new mob in the 1.21 update. A Breeze is a hostile mob spawned by certain trial spawners found in trial chambers and the only source of Breeze rods. When attacking something, a Breeze moves via jumping large distances 
and attacks by firing wind charges, which deal high knockback. It can repel all projectiles, taking no damage from them. By the way, please leave a like on the video and subscribe if you've already learnt something new. So moving back onto trial keys. Once you finally collect one from a spawner, we can then locate a vault, which is a block that spawns within the chamber. You can use your trial key to then unlock the vault, in which it will cycle through various items and shoot out your rewards. Be warned though, once a player has used a vault once, it cannot ever be opened again by the same player, meaning you will have to move on to another room complete a new trial and unlock a new vault to try and get the loot you want. The various types of loot will be discussed in the next section, but make sure you stick around till the end because that's where I'll be discussing the most important game changing features of the whole update. So let me showcase all of the potential loot you can earn from the chambers including their spawn rate percentage, starting from the most basic to the advanced loot on both Java edition and Bedrock edition. Feel free to pause the video. Chests, dispensers, trial spawners, barrels, decorated pots, and finally vaults. As you can see, there's some really great potential for good loot, including diamonds, diamond armor, golden apples, smithing templates, and so much more. But you may have realized you haven't seen the mace, which is one of the main features of this entire update. Where is it? How do you get it? Well, let me explain. As you may remember at the start of this video, I mentioned something called an ominous event. What is this? So an ominous event occurs within the trial chambers, which essentially turns the trial from easy mode to very hard mode, making the whole challenge a lot more difficult, but the loot even more rewarding. So how do you start an ominous event? Well, these occur when a player enters into a trial chamber with the bad omen effect. The bad omen effect will more than likely be changed shortly to something like trial omen, for example. But you can gain this effect by visiting a pillager outpost and killing the illager with the banner. Once you've done this, head back to the chambers and you'll discover all the trial spawners will transform into ominous trial spawners. These ominous trial spawners work the same way except they now often spawn mobs with armor and weapons. When at least one player is within the activation range of an ominous trial spawner, every 8 seconds it spawns ominous item spawners above any such player, or any mob that was spawned by this ominous trial spawner. The spawner displays a projectile for 3 to 6 seconds before shooting that projectile downwards. Each ominous trial spawner has a set of two projectiles it spawns, one of which is a lingering potion. The lingering potion effect is selected randomly from one of the following, but as you may realize, four of these lingering effects are brand new. Wind charged is a status effect that causes any entities that have the effects to release a burst of wind upon death. Too many beans, that's what I say. Oozing is a status effect that causes two slimes to spawn upon an entity's death. Weaving is a status effect that makes cobwebs spawn upon an entity's death. Infested is also a status effect that causes silverfish to spawn upon an entity's death. The second projectile is randomly selected from one of the following. Of course you can expect upgraded loot from the ominous event spawners, and the list looks a lot like this, which includes this time an ominous trial key, which actually has a 30% chance of spawning. This new trial key unlocks the new Ominous Vault, and these are all the rewards you can expect, ranging from rare armor trims to a block of diamonds. But you may still be asking, where is the mace? Why isn't it part of the reward? Well, it can be crafted by the Heavy Core Block, which has just an 8.3% chance of spawning. Throw this in a crafting table with a breeze rod to create Minecraft's most powerful weapon the mace. If you want a guide on the mace, leave a like, subscribe and check out this video.